Okay, um, here at Sol Ray on a kick today to get a bunch of videos as far as what we do, what we've been doing for over 10 years now. We've been doing systems like this. Uh, this right here is a trailer that's been in service for about five years now. And uh, um, it's had two different arrays. The first array was using Evergreen uh, EC uh, 120 modules. And then those became discontinued, so we took them off. ESs represent, um, are closely more represent uh, what is currently on the market. The ESAs are a lower voltage module, which I like. I don't mind that so I can have larger strings, but um, these best represent that. And as well as being physically very similar, uh, I think there's only like a four inch difference in one direction uh, between the ESAs and the ESs. So, um, very close in appearance to the ESAs, just a little bit different in performance. Um, and those are 180s on the roof. So we have just over 500 watts on the roof. <clears throat> and uh, with that power is here, and this is all set up for a little demonstration. I haven't cleaned it out, so I got a bunch of boxes over here. Yeah, inverter box, disconnect box, and a whole bunch of module boxes. Is uh, We have a fuse in here. Okay, um, we come into a 10 amp fuse because these were uh, <clears throat> uh, lower voltage or lower current modules to an MX60, fused MX60 <clears throat> battery controlling out of the batteries, fused into um, inverter. How about that? This is blast from the past for a lot of people that have been in this industry for a long time, haven't seen one of these in a long time, but just as the name claims it is truly a legend a little noisy um but i defeat the uh the the line sensing just because uh i don't you know i run leds and things like that so they wouldn't start the inverter if i had it on if i had the um inverter start sensor um uh, set anywhere below defeated so it just wouldn't start the low low current draw stuff that I have. So I just defeat that. And so it runs all the time. Um, except for when I know I'm not gonna use it, I'll turn it off and keep it in there. And so I don't have the inverter charger set up. The, the input circuit is not wired in because I don't ever plug it in. Um, it's completely charged by the sun, or at least the batteries. I could, still functions as an inverter charger. It's just never done any charging. And of course, we come through and I've got two 20 amp circuits. Um, <clears throat> uh, um, the output of the inverter is uh, just over 10, about 12 amps. It's a, a, um, a 14 12, is what this is. This is the old 14 12 legend. And this is uh, the outlet I have here. As you saw, I had two um, circuits. This is one circuit here. And of course I got an MC cable. <clears throat> and here's my other circuit. And this is to show people that this job, this in trailer, really has been running jobs for five years. In fact, we ran some jobs with a, a mobile unit that was basically this inverter and this battery system. This battery case will hold three A27 batteries or A31s. Um, G31s, G37, G27s, um, and and uh, I only have two in there now. I found that two was all I needed um, for um, a system that was out in the sun and basically during daily operation. <clears throat> but we can actually run just about any tool that you need, including that air conditioner that we started up earlier. It's still running, by the way. Uh, that's in another video I did on a very small unit. Anyways, uh, here we have a, a table saw. And it claims a pretty high startup current. Where the heck is that? Oh, here we go. 
So it's claiming a 13 amp start, and it does. It, it draws a good current, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. And like I said, it's a five year old inverter. can look and watch what we're doing over here. Basically we have a 500 watt array on the roof, but it's uh, um, horizontally mounted, so it's not going to be peak power, it's the middle of winter. So that's probably about the best we're going to be able to get out of it is at 250, 260. Actually it's climbing pretty good, 290, 300, because it's an MPPT controller. We're actually getting up to the, the left hand side is the PV input. I don't think we'll get much higher than the 325 um, out of this array right now. Um, but we've stabilized on the, uh, the battery output. So the battery is actually doing really good. It's stabilized at about 12.4, between 12.4 and 12.5. And it seems to be just holding steady right there. So, no problem with a 500 watt array mounted horizontally. The continuous E run. The continuous E run. That. Um, and of course, earlier video. And that is being run by our dude here. And coming to you from the number one source in Central Florida. Thank you very much.